sixth grade module three lesson 14 classwork so this is going to expand on what we learned in fifth grade about ordered pairs so in fifth grade we just worked in the first quadrant but now you're going to learn that there are actually four quadrants on a coordinate grid so let's just go over what we remember remember from ordered pair so an ordered pair is something like four two and then we would plot it on our on our coordinate grid so the first number in an ordered pair is called the first coordinate so four would be called the first coordinate and the second number of an ordered pair is called the second coordinate although I think that it's also important to remember that this is called the x-coordinate and this is the y-coordinate and that'll be important later on. So example two I'm going to skip because that's something that you would kind of only do if you were in class um, and go down to the exercises. So the first coordinates of the ordered pairs represent the numbers located on the line labeled x. So remember this right here, let me highlight it, is the x-coordinate. So anything along that line are the, is an x-coordinate, so that, that's the x-axis. And then going vertically, we have the y-axis right there, okay? So the x always comes before the y in the coordinate pair. So this is the x, this is the y. You remember that because it's alphabet, or, alphabet order or um, you can just remember x, y. So 1, 4. So 1 is the x-axis. So we're going to find 1 on the x-axis, go over to 1, and then 4, go up to 4. So this is 1, 4. So f is located at 1, 4. We can write out point f. 0, 5. So 0, 5 would mean that we don't go anywhere on the x-axis. We stay at 0 and then up to 5, which is A. C, 4, 1. So now we're going to go over to 4 on the x-axis right here and then up 1, which is going to be point B. D, 8.5, 8. And a half, eight. So we're going to go over to 8.5, about right there. And then up to 8, which is going to be L. E, 5, negative 2. So now we're going to go over to 5. And this is where it gets a little bit different than 5th grade. So instead of, if it was 5, 2, we go up 1, 2, and it'd be right there. But it's 5, negative 2. So instead of going up, we're going to go down to here, negative 2. So that is point G. F, 5, 4, and 2 tenths. So over to 5, I'll use a different color, over to 5, and then up to 4 and 2 tenths. So 4 and 2 tenths would be H, G, 2, negative 1. So we're going to go over to 2, down 1, because it's negative. So that's point C, and H, 0, 9. So 0, and then up to 9 would be E. Number two, list the ordered pair of numbers that corresponds with each letter from the grid below. So this time they're giving us the letter, the point, and we need to give the coordinates. So point M, here's point M. So M is over to five and then up to seven. So we'd write it as five, seven. Point S, where's S? Here it is would be negative 2 and then up to 3. Point n is right here. So that would be x. We go over 6 to get on the x-axis, but then we go, we don't move anywhere, so it's 0. So 6, 0. Point t is right here. So we go negative 3 on the x-axis and then up two, so negative three, and then up, so it's positive two. Point P is right here. So on the x-axis, we don't go anywhere, so it's gonna be zero, 
but then we go up six on the y. So zero, six. Point U right there. We go over seven on the x and up five. So positive seven, five. Point Q is right here. That is two and then up three, so two, three. Point V right here. So we go negative one and then positive six. And point R. So again, point R, we don't go anywhere on the x-axis, so the x is gonna be zero. But then we go up three to get to R, so zero, three. That is it.